Hey everyone, what is up and welcome back to For The Rock Reacts. Before we get into anything, ground rules. I know that many of you that are watching this video, you're here with preconceived notions and preconceived ideas about what's going to happen. You already know about this song. All the debate around it. This is possibly one of the most controversial tracks to come out in the scene in many years <laughs> possibly i don't know but some ground rules no arguing in the comments um this is my channel on youtube i could delete any comment that i want if i see something can't quote freedom of speech here on youtube <laughs> doesn't matter keep it civil in the comments please also we will be going a little bit not super in depth but a little bit more in depth after the song so stick around for some more explanation some more stuff considering okay like if you think you know you might not know you might have already seen it i'm a little late reacting to this i've wanted to let it settle for a couple days and we'll you know we'll see what it's about so all that being said be civil love one another maybe i'll share some of my own thoughts but that's the the main thing now for those of you who don't know anything about this track at all the title's called hail mary it's by confessions of a traitor face down band from the uk amazing band gearing up for their second album so hyped for this um these guys have been putting out some solid stuff for years and this is something a bit different something that i think everybody kind of knew going into it was going to cause a, a fuss stir the pot so to speak uh, we also have mike from convictions in it which what a better time to wear my new stigmata convictions shirt uh it's pretty sick anyways yeah so this song is highlighting abuse in the church uh specifically in the context of this song it is talking about the abuse in the catholic church uh steven the vocalist grew up catholic and um i think this is a very personal song for him or at least at the topic uh topic is very personal to him and you know this is something that has been known for uh, quite a few years as, a, as an issue but it's not solely the catholic church that this is like every church this is everywhere this is kind of an issue that needs to be addressed and i think conf confessions of a traitor are not not the first but at least recently one of the few to really open up and talk about this subject and be very blatant about it and it's um yeah so we're gonna check this out uh i hear the song is pretty crazy the the visuals top notch as always and i'm really excited to see it so without a further ado let's dive in this is hail mary from confessions of a traitor Right off the bat. Bah! Oh, the sunglasses. Oh, wow. Mike right away. Mike with the high. Oh! 
song what a message uh just to get it out of the way i am not catholic i never considered myself catholic born protestant christian home uh very very pentecostal upbringing um say i lean more in lines like i attend a baptist church now up in canada not maybe it's not quite the same flavor of baptist as many people would consider i don't know it seems like (laughs) as i've explored more there's so many different types of baptists and different types of christians different types of catholics it's i have i'm not going to pretend like i'm an expert but you know there's uh and I'm, i'm not trying to catholic bash that's not what the point of this video is just kind of getting it out of the way so you can understand my perspective is that there's things with the catholic doctrine that i do not believe i do not agree with um especially when it comes to the topic of mary um yeah lots to go there with like the point i'm not trying to make a point of like let's you know talk about that that's not but just so that everybody understands where i'm coming from when i talk about this kind of stuff just to not be misconstrued and not to make assumptions like because i i see that a lot with people talking about this song online um lots of anger coming from people that are catholic thinking that this is a song that's attacking catholicism i maybe i i can see where they're coming from because like there is some particular things in here especially the hail mary prayer which i've not really known much about but like um i can i can see where the lyrical content that is coming from um and so we have a statement from steven uh the vocalist of this band this was just a reply to a comment or to a post on facebook that i saw and he just kind of gives a brief little summary about what kind of the track is about i think this would be a better jumping off point than assuming or you know speculating anything this is like direct from the source Uh, He says, hey, just want to jump in here. As the writer, I want to outline a few things. Firstly, born and raised Irish Roman Catholic, educated in Catholic school, college, and university. This is not an anti-Catholic song. Secondly, this song is only about abuse at the hands of those in positions of power. 
I have family and friends who have been abused by those who they trusted as part of the church. The manipulation through the use of prayer, the victims made to feel guilty that they were slash are to blame for their abuse. This song was written to spark debate and highlight that it happens and needs to be called out and spoken about. My DMs are always open if you wish to discuss more. So yeah, I think that's one of the main things going on here is is about abuse at the hands of those in positions of power and definitely with the way that the band is with the the theme of the whole song like it's very I think within the context of the church uh this is a very important issue that doesn't get talked about too much um or enough and um yeah I just want to go out of my way and say if if you're watching this and uh you're somebody who has experienced abuse at the hands of somebody who has power in the church or a leadership position uh, or just by anybody that has ever confessed to be a Christian, I'm sorry. And um, I just want you to know that that is not a reflection of who Christ is um, because that is not, that's not what Christ stands for at all. Um, and it's terrible, but, it, and it's, it's one of those things where it's like, there's people that sin and do terrible things. We live in a fallen world. There's terrible stuff that happens. And I think one of the lines in the song here, the chorus, it says, how can I still believe with the pain I carry? I don't feel seen for the guilt. I feel I'm condemned beneath the guillotine. I still believe with the shame I carry, I don't feel seen for the hate. I feel my silence lays the path to hell. Um, and I think Stephen's coming from a really good perspective as the writer here, where it's like, even though the the tragic circumstances around it, there's still belief that they, they haven't walked away from their faith in the Lord. Yeah, I think that's a really good way to go about it because it's it's easy for us to place blame on any sort of organization or system or anything when just the the actions of an individual um, or maybe a small group of people come against us and we believe that that's a reflection of what the overarching thing stands for. And so... Um, yeah. Again, I'm want to say I'm I'm not an expert on this. Just getting some thoughts out. Getting I want to make sure as I'm putting a video out with this as the subject matter that um, you guys know where I'm coming from. Not that it relates entirely. Uh, I don't think this equates at all. But just as a small personal experience, because I I've never suffered abuse in the church, um, especially from somebody in leadership. But I think over the years there has been, there's been spiritual abuse. There's been, um, I think unintentionally and good intentioned false, false teaching or, um, just leading into kind of the wrong spot, wrong way when it comes to aspects of the faith. Um, but I grew up in uh, a small neighborhood church. My grandpa was the pastor. And my elementary school bully, <laughs> I went to a Christian school also, but in elementary school, like first to third grade or so, um, there's one guy who liked to pick on me. And I was kind of at that point. Uh, getting a little chubby, getting a little, you know, and very self-conscious and sheltered. And, um, yeah, I got, I got bullied by this one kid a lot at school. Uh, never really anything physical. It was definitely more like verbal and emotional abuse. Um, but his family also attended my church <laughs> that my grandpa was the pastor of. And, uh... I got it there too and it really sucked because it was just like all week well five days at school and then I got my weekend and we go to church on Sunday and I get it there too like it was 
it was pretty terrible for like at least a year, if not more. But, um, you know, I don't think I was actively thinking anything of it when I was a kid about how, how it reflected faith and, you know, as a kid, how much do I actually, am I actually like believing what I believe and knowing what I believe and all, and all that, like when it comes to God. And so I'm just thankful that all these years later, you know, I'm still a believer, still walking with the Lord. And in the case of this song, whether or not this is direct story from Steven's perspective or just kind of writing about this topic, it's like still maintaining that belief, even though there's terrible things happening around you and like just this crappy world (laughs) at times that we're living in and the stupid things that people do that we don't let that affect how we see God. And yeah, I just wanted to say that like I... You know, it's it's a touchy subject, and I think with the way that the song is framed, with the imagery and the kind of the specifics of the faith, <laughs> um, where it's stemming from, is stirring people the wrong way. But I'm thankful that Stephen kind of came out, made that clear, like in some posts, and I'm sure that they'll talk about it. I I think we're gonna be having these guys on at some point again for the podcast and we can talk more about this with them but i just wanted to to kind of highlight that and let everybody know it's like hey a let's try not jump to conclusions when anything comes out and you know we're getting um you know something that we're questioning like there's so many people that are quick to nitpick every single lyric and say oh that person's not christian or in this case, this is Catholic bashing, and I think what Jesus told us, it, I think uh, James 1 has a good lesson for us. Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger, for the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Like, obviously, there's more to that verse before, and I don't want to nitpick that out of context, but I think that's just a good lesson when it comes to things like this that rile us up and it's you know we have a righteous anger about the situation like the sexual abuse and just abuse in the church regardless but um when it comes to everything around it slow to speak and quick to hear so that's all i'm asking and i think with we need to put a little more thought into some stuff and i'm not the one to speak i don't i have a hard time sometimes putting this kind of stuff in a word so thank you for watching and being here i know this was kind of a longer video kind of me kind of going on but um yeah i think there's a bigger conversation here and it's also just the way our online world works it's hard to do to have a conversation you can't do it properly with just text uh it's harder to do it over video like if we were actually talking face to face rather than being in person and the way our scene is connected can't do it in person a lot of the time but like i think just everybody needs to take a moment and think about that like am i getting the whole story here is there more to this instead of you know being quick to make a post and make judgment calls and without doing their due diligence to like go behind the scenes a little bit thank you for watching thank you for listening let me know what you guys think about the track down below show confession some love but keep it civil in the comments please if there's not i am not afraid to delete comments i'll just say it i I don't usually do it but in certain cases i will I think that's uh, that's about it for this one. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, Confessions, great job. And really stoked to see what you guys are doing. And uh, yeah, just between the artwork, the, the actual production of the music, the songwriting, the visuals, everything is just top notch. It's great. And so keep doing what you guys are doing. And uh, yeah, until next time, thank you for watching. Peace. And we'll see you soon.